it was clear that we were reaching an inflection point such that there were a lot of students who were admitted and wanted to come but couldn't come up with the full amount. And um, it just became a priority. Some of it was repurposing existing funds. Some of it was additional fundraising. Uh, there were a lot of different things that we did and, and continue. I'm sure you're continuing to do that. Uh, we, we did decide to make the EDLD program tuition free because, you know, the, P the doctoral programs in arts and sciences are tuition free. And with this program, we were preparing people for careers in public service. I, when, as dean, I met so many people who were still paying off their EDD loans, you know, when they were in their 50s. And I thought, this can't happen or people aren't going to want to enter the education sector. One of the reasons financial aid or scholarship support or fellowship support is so important is that you want people to enter the sector and stay in it. Uh, a lot of people leave the education sector because of salary, but you don't want them to also be burdened with debt. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So can you imagine all of the wonderful things that would not have happened if you weren't able to award financial aid or increase financial aid? Yeah. And it's the same problem at Smith, too. You know, we're working hard. We're working hard there to raise money for financial aid because it's getting harder and harder for people to justify um, four years of college, even with very, very generous financial aid. It's a problem, I think, in all of higher education. But I, would, I think it has to be the number one fundraising priority for almost every president and almost every dean. Absolutely. And especially when you're going into public service. Yes, exactly.